Hey everybody, uh, this is going to be uh, another shortish video about Vadasi. I want to make an update to my old video. I'll put a link in the description if you want to see my old one, but that was in a couple patches ago and a lot of things have changed, so I kind of want to go over it. Um, it's kind of a beginner's guide to Vadasi, if you will. Um, so this is Vadasi. She's Gigantic's uh, main healer, I think you would say. She's uh, Her primary attack is a heal. It, it's not an attack, but she heals. Um, and a lot of people struggle with her orb management, which you see these little floaty orbs around her. Um, these are This is her E ability. If you hold it, you activate the orbs and you take damage. And a lot of people struggle with this because they end up killing themselves with their orbs. So this is just going to go over uh, a, a pretty strong build that I use um, in games where I'm tryharding and I want to win. So um, one thing you can do if you're if you're brand new and you're just learning her, um, a good a good option is to uh, take the upgrade Resolute Sacrifice on her E, which reduces the cost of the orb by 200 hit points. So, see here, see you take almost a quarter of your life. And if you take this ability, let's, uh, let's uh, heal that back up. So no, now if you activate, you see it takes much less health. Um, usually my first two ability points are going to be into Light of Judgment and Another's Keeper. What these two do is... Uh, the light of judgment um, deals damage to a target around your your does damage to an enemy near your target that you're healing, so you can basically be healing and doing damage at the same time. <clears throat> and what another's keeper does is it gives you focus whenever you heal somebody, um, so or if even if you buff them, and you, that can happen once every five seconds. So with those two, right away you'll start building focus really fast. Uh, after that, I'm either, depending on how the game is going, I'm probably going to take Keeping the Faith, which will make it so if you have an orb active, at least one orb active, when you use your self-heal on Q, you'll, it'll, the cooldown will only be five seconds, so you can heal more often. And with those four points, you're going to have a much easier time managing your health, because even if you pop like all your orbs and then just heal once... And then it's on a five second cooldown. See, you've almost healed back all that health that you lost. You can pop it again and you still got that. So um, after that, I usually go Sanctuary, which gives all allies near you 25 armor. And the way armor works in this game is every point of armor is basically a percentage damage reduction from how I understand how it works in this current patch. Um, so tw you get 25% damage mitigation when you take this ability for everyone around you. And after that, I usually go Divine Protection, which again gives you gives you a flat damage reduction uh, from the front when you when you activate your heal. Um, with this, one thing about Vidasi too is she has uh, the highest armor. Of she has the same armor as Margrave. She doesn't have as much health as he does, but she's got the same base armor value as the other tanks in the game, like HK and uh, HK Margrave. I think that's it. Maybe I don't know what Paco's armor is, but so I'm not gonna. So after that, next upgrades uh, can take. Uh, Oh, uh, let's see. When I usually go for this build. I'll go Chain Smiting and then Purifying Flame, and that grants debuff immunity to allies near your targets, which is really, really good, especially when you're going up against, like, a Voden who's using poison, which reduces your healing. If you make your allies immune to that, um, that basically shuts the Voden down. Uh, so that's really good. Uh... Last couple of points, you can take uh, healing. The determination isn't bad. Uh, and uh, Amity is usually what I take. And for Spirit now, for the specialization, which you would take at level 5, uh, some people like Divine Light, but you really don't need it. Spiritual Refreshment is really good. Um, Swift Deliverance seems good, but... 
I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't really tried it yet. It seems like it would be good, but I don't think the movement speed you get from it. Let's check it out. But I think, if anything, I would recommend Spiritual Refreshment. Uh, gain 25 stamina when you activate your orb. And you and you sacrifice no and during clash you sacrifice no else for a third orb so that's really really good, but all of, all of her talents I think are are pretty are pretty good, probably with the exception of uh, with the exception of divine light because I just don't think you need that extra healing and it's it's kind of not that much extra healing, so with this build basically when you're damaging pose. You get debuff immunity for your allies. When you activate your orbs, everyone around you gets uh, everyone around you gets bonus twenty five armor, which is twenty five percent damage reduction. Like I said before, it's a really strong build. It's good um, if you have you really want to play this in, or really you just want to play her play uh, play Vidasi really in games where you've got some melee. Bruisers, not preferably not assassins because assassins, because she didn't have movement really, she can't keep up with assassins. Um, or you know, if you've got a Sven on your team, his jump pad can help you get in and out of fights really good too. Uh, you know, Paco, Griselma, Isling, Margrave, Nasus, all of those characters are really good to pair with Vidasi. Um, and another way you can build her is actually let's go and uh, reload and I'll show you. You can dan you can basically just take all of her damage abilities and she does crazy damage. Uh, but you are going to take a lot of more damage. For, uh, you're going to take a lot more damage from your orbs in this build. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, I'm going to put all these in the link in the description of the video. I'll put links to both of these builds. So. Um, and, and one thing to keep in mind with Gigantic 2 is builds are great for, like, seeing how other people play the game and learning and stuff. But, like, it, you kind of want to you wanna adjust your build based on based on what's happening in the game. So, so don't, like, lock yourself into one specific build and always do it. I'm always changing up the order I take stuff in. And I'm, I, I try, like, depending on how my team's doing, sometimes I take different upgrades than the ones I showed you here. But uh, it's a, it's a good guideline if you never played before. So then this video is kind of for new people. So you take this, take that. Uh, let's see, take that. I think look for the red ones. So I think this is probably. And now I know this this other tree might be the left tree for for this might be a little bit more damage, but. Uh, a flame seeker you actually can it'll pierce through enemies so you can also i'll show you it's really crazy uh damage reduction okay so i would take i would actually take the divine light in this build just because uh you'll see you're you're going to be taking a lot of damage so Let's see when you, you kind of got to relearn your rotation with her too, when you're going this build too, because I'll show you. So basically you want to Q and then E and see how that reduces the, that reduces the, uh, the cooldown of that ability. And then you can, you can cast it again where here I kind of wasted it. God. Trying to talk and do Let's see. see if I can get two of them lined up. I can show you how strong this is. Uh, let's go over here. Here we go. Let's line them up. If I can hit anything. Ignore my terrible aim, but... Uh, You can see how much damage this does, um, and if you can actually hit your opponents, then you know it does even more damage. So yeah, like I said, this this is a dangerous build to go. 
but you do insane damage with it, as you can see right there. So, uh, be wary of using it, but uh, it is it is fun because you do a ton of damage. So, anyways, um, I think that's about it. Uh, things to keep in mind: the you know, um, look at your team comp when you're picking Vadasi. If you have all assassins in range, you may want to pick a different hero because um, she does struggle. Like you're basically just be chasing your teammates around, try to try to heal them the whole time. Or if you do pick them in that team comp, and you realize it's too late. Maybe maybe go damage and try and make the best of it. So, anyways, I hope this helps. Uh, if you have questions, leave a comment. I'll uh, I'll I get emails. I'll I'll try to respond to them. Uh, thanks for watching.